Welcome to Shirley's Temple. <laughs> What's pop again? We got Cash Page in the building, y'all. I'm so excited. You're one of my favorite people. Man, you're one of my favorite people. You already know. Every time I see you, I feel like it's good vibes, good energy, and yeah, I just no. appreciate it. No, I appreciate your energy. Ever since I'm running to you, too, it's like, whenever we used to run to you, we were always geeked as hell. Yeah. For sure. Super geeked. <laughs> for geek. sure. I get excited. Were you ever into dabbing? Um, Yeah, my brother owns a dab rig. Yeah. Oh, he owns a dab rig. I love it. Yeah, he be going crazy. The little butterfly nectar thing. Whatever. Wait, then this is a perfect gift for him. Because <laughs> in there, we got this. This is the PV1. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it looks like a classic pipe. Mm -hmm. You twist it. That's like some electric a, shit. You put a vape cartridge in there. And then you put that on top of it? Uh, yeah. So, it's like discreet in public. You could just take this. Yeah. That's pretty hard. I would think right. somebody's doing crack, though. No! That's <laughs> not... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Hamilton Devices. They're out of Sacramento, so they're like the dopest uh, vape distributor. So so Shout out to them, man. Congrats on y'all's stuff. You feel me? Hell yeah. But um, I also wanted to give you a gift from Pacific Stone. Okay, fire, Pacific fire, fire. Stone. Thank um, you. But I know you haven't been smoking for how long has it been now? Um, it's only been like probably, I would say, six, seven days, but I've been the best ever, honestly. And you said this was for good? I would say it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like weed's not really doing nothing for me right now. I feel like I have I used to smoke every single second of the day and I felt like I wouldn't be as productive. And then I felt like it's, as far as singing, I feel like it would cloud up right. my lungs too. So it was just like now, like when I went to rehearsals earlier today, cause I got an hour set and I was like, damn, like I can actually like, you know, breathe and stay on stage. So I was like, man, I just gotta keep this up. And my clarity has been way better. I really hope I'm not tempting you with these gifts. Can you give it to someone? Um, yeah, I'm gonna give it to my agent. Okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Cause I was gonna say, like, even hitting this last night, like, I, I be trying to run sometimes. I feel that. <laughs> and my lungs just be like, yo. Like, so I feel you. But the thing is, if I was just a producer and I didn't sing or whatever, I think I would be gassing all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, just sometimes it's just like super harsh on my voice. And right. I used to, I love getting high, but I'm, I still do shrooms. We were going to talk about that next. Yeah, I still do shrooms. <laughs> um, like, y'all got some gummies, you know what I'm saying? Wait, know. where's lava? He has some shroom chocolate. Can we get that? Damn, the chocolate's strong. The thing is, I feel like everybody lies about the chocolate being a microdose. That shit, Yo. that shit's a full trip. Like, that's not no microdose. Gummies are a microdose. Okay, the chocolates wait, are too strong. Yes. <laughs> you, do you have gummies? This is from Lava Exotics. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You say you don't want the chocolate? Uh-uh. It's too strong for me right now. Cause uh, then I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a full trip. Check this out. You can just take, you can take like three or four pieces. See, that sound like a full trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you gotta only take one out of the three. You know what I'm saying? You to, you're talking to somebody that's done acid, DMT, <laughs> that's done acid and shrooms at the same time. That's a full trip for me. Yeah, I've done, I've done too much, right? I feel like I have to like literally alleviate, like just a little bit. I need some rocking at least, Microdose. like go we out. All right. I'm gonna oh, take it, I'm gonna take it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. <laughs> this is a fucking intervention right now. I know, wait. Oh, when did you start to, doing drugs? To, Are you gonna stop doing drugs? What I really wanna know is your DMT, DMT trip, cause I wanna do DMT, put me on. Okay, so my homie's a chemist, he made me some DMT pens. He and, made you your own? Yeah. DMT pen? <laughs> yeah, like kinda like how that. you're having a vape, he made me a DMT vape. So it was like, I, we were in downtown, we are just like on, like literally out front of um, my Airbnb at the moment. And we were just hitting the pins outside and the fucking cars look like Legos. It was crazy. But it was like, you know, it's a, it's a short high. Yeah, like 15 minutes. Yeah, I, they had like 10, 15. It wasn't really that serious. And I didn't have a full blast off because I, oh, okay. I tried to do it out of a, um, the nectar thing too. But Ooh. I can barely even rip a bong for real. Really? Yeah. But you be blowing down the woods, right? See, I used to blow down, I blow down anything. Like when I smoke, it's just like, we used to smoke swishers in the car. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Like 10, 10 blunts, for real, for real, <laughs> and hot boxing. If you had, if you messed up the, the box, you had to buy everybody in the, in the car food. <laughs> no dead ass. Wait, so what I really want to know is how you were able to just stop, because that takes discipline. Like, even I though know. you could be like, oh, I just stopped. Like, that takes discipline. Right? I've been saying that for a long time, though. I've been saying, like, oh, I'm oh, going to stop okay. smoking, like, you know, for, a, like, all the time. And then I'll get around somebody and I'll start smoking. And I felt like with me, it was kind of just like, I don't know, I'm entering a different stage in my life right now, you know. 
and I'm about to move back to Dallas. I got like, are you? Yeah, the crib I got is fucking sick. I just, yeah, I just got it today. It's pretty nice. Hey, congratulations! Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. When's the housewarming? Man, it's soon. Shit, I'm, I'm moving from LA probably in about two weeks. So, dang. Oh, yeah. If you want to come out there, let me know. I'll show you the house. Yeah, that's fire. Let me do this. Dang, so we can't celebrate our birthdays in the same city anymore? Her birthday's one day before. Wait, is your January 9th? It's January 8th. January 8th. He shares his one day before mine. You already know Capricorn shit. Capricorn gang. <laughs> Look at this. Hold on. That's incredible. Ooh. Yo, we love it. property, y'all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I appreciate that. I feel like last time I interviewed you, we're not last time, but I remember we inter we did an interview over the pandemic. And it was were, it was at that um that one crit yeah, yeah the house mm -hmm. and you were just like yeah I'm, I want to move back to Dallas. Like, Hell, okay, so I did. So once like in my life, uh, my life likes to repeat itself, but in different ways. Damn. So I feel like whenever I went back to Dallas that time. It was because I didn't know nobody in L.A. And it's like whenever I got back to Dallas, then I got a call in right to L.A. And then I had to experience, oh, I'm now I'm living in Hollywood Hills. I'm linking up with everybody, this, this, that. But like now it's kind of just draining, you know? It's like. I feel you. I, mean, I feel like everybody in L.A. wants to be a star. You're so LA. many star amongst stars, you know? Yeah. And it's like, it's exciting, you know? And there's so many opportunities out here. But I feel like, you know, everybody in their life has a different chapter in their life. And I feel like I'm creating this new chapter in mine, so. I respect that. Nah, thank you. I appreciate that. And you be talking your shit like you're going to be the greatest artist one day. And I'm like, yo, I can. The fact that, like, I feel like you're on that trajectory is a nah, beautiful thank thing. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. No, it's like when I was telling you I'm going to Canada, I'm actually headlining in Brit Victoria, British Columbia this week. It's my first time headlining out of the country. I so. saw your first event. Yeah. I'm really excited. Right. Have you been? To oh, no, I've never been to Canada. Really? Mm -mm. No, nah, because it was like whenever I turn, because um, I'm 21. Yeah, whenever you're a baby. <laughs> whenever I turn 18, that's when I got my uh, passport, but then COVID hit. So it was like I didn't really oh, get to fuck. do anything. Yeah. Damn. And then I went to the Bahamas, though, but like Ooh. that was pre, pre pandemic. But the way I got to the Bahamas was using my birth certificate. So I kind of snuck to the Bahamas. Like, I'm not trying to arrest anybody, like the, it was weird the way I got there. That's I didn't have no passport. Wait. I didn't have a passport. Did you have to pull a cash no, pay card? I wasn't even a, really a cash pay, oh, to be you honest with you. Oh, you Yeah, I was like, I was the Kyla Woolen, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I didn't have nothing. I didn't have no chains on. I didn't have none of that. Like, I was just wearing an acid t-shirt. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, some shorts. <laughs> I didn't That's have no hilarious. music out, neither. Oh, wow. My music was all on SoundCloud. And it was, like, the production team I had got with, they threw this cruise called Days of the Summer Cruise, and they had me... Post Malone, Dej Love, Cardi B, the baby, like all performing on a yacht that went from Miami to Bahamas. Like Wait. it was like some soul plane shit. For real. How was that? It was crazy. It was crazy. That was my first time ever getting drunk. I had a Long Island for the first time. Yeah, those are strong, sis. Yeah, I was walking around the boat like, this is my fucking yacht. This is my yacht right here. I own this shit. It's okay. He understands me. Yeah. I'm a dog. I got that dog in me. <laughs> because you said Bahamas. Uh, this is like oh, your shit. post select. They got a little beach towel. Oh, shit. They got some merch in there for you. Someone said thank you. Yeah, Hell absolutely. Yeah. Um, you were saying. About to go um, lay on the beach with a bad team. Hey, okay, can we talk about that first? Because <laughs> I love what your Twitters, your tweets be. I just be like, like, <laughs> like, like. I just tweeted some shit today where I was like, because I've never had a close friends. I tweeted some shit like. I want to get a close friends, but it's like, I rarely like people in my business. And then on top of that, it's just like, they're going to find out I'm really the villain on my close friends. Oh, no. So it's like, damn, I'm like trying to see. Y'all got close friends? Yep. yep. Do y'all like having it? Do y'all trust everybody in it, though? Yeah. Man. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I, I don't have one either, and I want to make one. But I'm like, damn, what if somebody, like, screenshot or screen record my shit? Like, Wait, how? Ratchet, are your stories gonna you be? You have to understand, I go crazy in real life, so it's like, I love it. So it's like, on socials, it might be too much. It might be way too much. Like, they might see pussy. Like, it <laughs> might get crazy. Like, with some shorties, like, it might get crazy. Like, wait. That's why I'm like, I don't know if I need to have one. Yeah, for real. Put the but put your pussy on live for a thousand dollars. See your pussy lips on live. I got. I haven't been on Snapchat in a minute. People still the thing snap. is, that's what like my Snapchat is like. It's weird now. They like I feel like whenever you get like the check and they subscribe, you it becomes like some like weirdo. Sh I wouldn't say weirdo shit, but it's just like, yeah, it's like now everybody can see your shit. It's not really, it's not chill no more. So I don't know.
Okay. And then everybody from Snapchat is like from fucking high school, to be <laughs> honest with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like from back, you know, Real whenever you, we were all like in high school or whatever, I feel like that's whenever. That was the people from Snapchat, so. Mm. How many hoes you got on deck, Cash? How many people you got? <laughs> Man, that's a crazy question to ask because it's like, how many hoes are on deck right now? Yo! It's like Sweet Life on deck right now. You can right say now, their you know names if you want. Like, Man, my favorite one, her name's Skyla. I'm gonna keep it a bean. My parents like her too. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? My mama don't like the other girls though. She think they too bougie. And I think they too bougie too. This one girl told me, I don't eat fried chicken, I only eat yellowtail. I'm like, you only eat yellowtail? Bitch, you need some southern shit in your life. Like, right, what the fuck? I'm like, you and who get... lies like that? Like, everybody eats fucking fried chicken. Like, what the fuck? Unless you're a vegan. Unless she's vegetarian? Oh, wait. She's not though. Oh. She just wanted to sound like exclusive. Okay, wait, do you like the bougie life? Do you like going out on that fine date? The, no, it's like, it's the difference between being bougie as fuck and having standards. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody wants, to, you know, everybody wants nice things. We all have, you know, like, who doesn't want nice things? But also, it's a difference between, like, thinking you're better than people with nice things and actually just wanting nice things in general and just chilling, you right. know? It's like, we go to a, a nice restaurant. We not in that bitch, like, oh, like, we're, we're the best in here. This, this, that, like, that was the type of shorty I was around. Like, she's just like... Like, literally, she spent $8,000 on this fucking Chanel bag. And I don't know shit about purses, right? So I'm like, only time I spent money on a purse, I was like, what, $1,200 on my friend? She's like, $1,200? Oh, that's a basic bitch. I'm like, basic Why bitch? Why is she how? even talking to you like exactly. that? Exactly. She, uh, she was like, she's like, that's a basic bitch. I was like, no, you're a basic bitch. Yeah. Like, it's a difference. Wait, so are you hitting on them first who's making the move no of course like this is the way it happened so she did she liked all my pictures oh and then Instagram. yeah and then i liked her because i'm like damn this bitch bad you know what i'm saying and then she was like yeah we met at party next doors a party last year but you didn't follow me back and i was like well you didn't dm me and she was like i don't do that well bitch i'll see you like what the fuck like you know what i'm saying so i was just kind of just lost yeah. and then we, we tapped in and it was just like a vibe for the first for like five days and then when i got to la she just became like the bougiest girl ever oh wow so i don't know is that i don't know uh like criteria for instagram models no because the thing is i don't really care about i mean of course like i have standards but also it's like i respect like somebody on their grind like yeah. if i seen a fine waitress i'm gonna say what's popping yeah. you know what i'm saying like i don't really care about this shorty being like i'll rather take a waitress over only fans girl damn I had AZ Shike on my show. He was like, I only like OnlyFans and stripper bitches. Of course, because he fucking them. <laughs> so, duh. <laughs> and they be bad. It's not like they not bad. I feel like that's as far as, like, you just trying to have a conversation, a little entertainment in your phone. But as far as dating, no. Not for me, at right. least. You know what I'm saying? It's Unless me. it's, like, in, if they're showing pussy and all that other stuff, no, I'm good. Because mm -hmm. everybody can see that. Mm, but yeah, you gotta see? have a little class with it. Like, I feel you know like you're low key a lover on the inside. Like, are you a hopeless romantic? <laughs> of course. Me too. Okay. Oh yeah, your music. Duh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm hopeless romantic, but also I still keep it pee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> still gotta keep it pee. I feel like everybody gotta keep it pee. That should be in the code. Right. Pushing pee. Free thug. Free gunner. Facts. I don't know if any of your bitches smoke, but this is a gift from <laughs> Gasco. <laughs> You know, we got to keep you lit. We you know what I'm saying? I appreciate this. that. It feels yeah. like Christmas right now, huh? Always. <laughs> Do you want to be exclusive with your favorite girl? What is her name, Skylar? Um, nah, I feel like right now it's kind of just like a vibe. I don't know where that's going to go. It's like I still haven't seen the world yet. I didn't see a girl in Paris. Like, you know uh, what I'm saying? But she is one of my favorites. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I would say because she's the type of shorty. I know, and I know y'all got shorties in here too, where it's like, where you can- They're all in relationships. Okay, well, I know if y'all have had oh. a shorty where it was like, you can hit her whenever type shit, and it's still gonna be the same vibe. Like, you don't gotta talk to her every day. You can you can stop talking to her for a few months and hit her up and be like, hey, how's everything going? She's like, life's great. It's so good to hear from you. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, Wait, I fuck with that. They're, they're like, yeah. <laughs> You're, you, you understand it. And it's kind of just like having like a best friend, right? Like you feel as if you don't have to talk to your best friend every single day. I mean, some people do. Does she get jealous when you're with other bitches? No, that's the perfect thing about her. Wow. Yeah, she's kind of just like, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> does she have a connection with like your music process or anything? What you mean? Just like, does she love Cash Page music? Like? She loves my music for sure. All right. <laughs> and she'll tell me if it sucked too. Oh, okay. That's, that's what fine. I respect. Like, I don't want no shorty around me that's just like, I love this. Like, I'll be like, 
you lying because I for sure made this hoe suck just to make <laughs> just to see what you would say. Like you know this baseline out of key. Yo. You know the, you know what I'm saying because it's like you know when you're in the industry it's a lot and just in general it's a lot of right. yes men. Yeah. Like I don't the, the thing is um, constructive criticism does, doesn't bother me. Like even y'all like y'all can hear my song right now and be like mm, I'm not really feeling that I'm not gonna be like oh fuck y'all like yeah. I'm gonna be like oh shit what do you think I should change about it. I you respect know? that. Yeah, because I mean, shit, we all trying to grow. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. It's everybody with a blend in hair right now. Everybody's yeah. like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you know. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like, yeah. And I'm she's like, like she's like, so Shirley. Yeah. <laughs> Low key, I got to pee, but I can hold it. <laughs> I'm high. The thing, the thing is, with holding piss, though, is, is you difficult. You keep thinking about it. it <laughs> and it's difficult because I've had, I've had a down bad moment in Miami where I could not hold it before. You like, fucking pissed. I pissed in a oh parking in a oh. parking garage. Oh fuck! Okay, like I had to cover myself with the car. I've had a down bad moment like that because it was like <laughs> we're so far away from the hotel. I don't I don't want to go back downstairs to get because it was so much. I'm just like, bro, like we've been drinking all night. Oh, Have y'all ever damn. had to use the bathroom somewhere? That's what I'm saying. Like where it's like you can't even you can't make it. You Bitch, can't make I it. I used to be an alcoholic at UC Santa Barbara. I was known for fucking just fucking. Squatting. I mean, like, hey, it's like. <laughs> not known, no, not known, but like. I get what I, you're saying. No, I get what like you're people, saying. Like, people like, oh, yeah, wow. Wait, okay, let's run it back. A ain't a squatter the people that just come to your house yeah. and just stay in your Wait, shit? Wait, what's that? Wait, what? Let's play get on top. <laughs> so I get high. You're okay. I understand. I understand. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure y'all been gassed all day. If I was high right now, I would make this. I would make zero fucking sense because I get stoned and my eyes would be bloodshot. <laughs> I'd be like, but every what question? Awesome. Yeah, but I don't mind when people smoke in front, like smoking in front of me. Like you can go smoke in front of my fucking face. That I'm sure me. you have friends that are like, no, really? Yeah, like everybody's like, yo, you want to hit this? I'm like, no. Everybody's like, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. This is not cash. Yeah. Like they're scared because I'm just like I'm good, bro. I'm chilling, yeah. and I'm so used to like smoking all the time. For that, I had these smoke odor candles. Oh, so it gets so, you high? No, it eliminates the weed in the room after people smoke. So this oh, is shit. for you. This is the spray, and this okay, is air cool. freshener. But I you bet. would make use of this because you know you ain't smoking. But put this um, in my car, man. Right. <laughs> you were an athlete growing up in the Dallas area. Mm -hmm. No, nah, I think we're in, uh, like, I think she's a grade, she was a grade above me, like, or two grades above me, but nah, we never did. But I, we ran against each other, like, in school, like, our schools competed against each other. Because she carried my nigga, that's my dog. How was that? Who won? Of course, her school. Her school was fast as fuck. I th uh, she went to, fuck, where did she go? I don't know if she went to soccer. I don't want to say she went to the wrong school. I just know that she's from Oak Cliff. I feel like that's the best way to say it. I think, isn't Yellow BZ from there? Yeah, he's from Oak Cliff, too. I remember that city. Mm -hmm. But our school, I mean, our school wasn't really fast in track. I grew up running summer track, so right. it was kind of just like, that was more my steal of whatever with track. I feel like school track, coaches make you hate that shit. The coaches really? don't be real because the thing is, our coaches were teachers too. So it's like, uh, damn, I got to see you in history class, then go fuck with you yeah. and then and, and softball. Like, damn, you know what I'm saying? That's hilarious. Do you exercise now? Do you so I don't really exercise now. I'm like, whenever I get back out there um, to Dallas, I'm going to purchase a bike though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was running miles every day for like, what, two weeks ago? Then I stopped because I was gassing before my miles too. <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> Can I be honest? Yeah. I got high one time before a run, and it was the worst run of my life. I thought time was going so fucking slow. Has exactly. You're just ready to go home, honestly. Yeah. You're just yeah. like, damn, like, honestly, like, this is the first lap, and I'm ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> For real, like, because you just, like, geeked, and you're like, why am I doing this right. shit? Like, I, d I ran track. I wasn't fast. Mm -hmm. But I was so bad, they put me in the 400. Damn. Yeah, you said you They want like, to see you fail. Yeah. For real, for real. The 400, that's the, the horrible fucking race. No, that was the worst. Like, I feel like for sprint, because I'm a sprinter, I feel like 400 for me, whenever my coach would put me in a 400, I'm like, damn, you a hoe. Like, <laughs> you a hoe, bro. Like, you know I can't run this shit. You can see me in track practice get dusted by everybody, bro. <laughs> And you're trying to put me in the fucking 400. Damn. Because I ran 4 by 100 meter relay, you 110 hurdles, meter hurdles. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then, what, 200 meter dash. So you've always been popping. Uh, yeah, I guess, bro. I don't know. I feel like I've always wanted to fit in. I feel like I could always adapt to any crowd. Like, 
you know, like, dab to anybody, literally. Like, middle school, high school, like, ha- can hang out with anybody. I respect that. Yeah. And I was just watching because I know you had that one race where you wore shoes that were oversized. Oh, uh, yeah. How did you recover from that? Because, y'all, she fell. You saw whatever on the hurdles? Yeah. It was, it was down bad. It was down bad. It was, like, the way it happened is I forgot my spikes at the, um, at the school. And then I had asked my friend if I can wear her spikes. And she was like, well, they are eight. And I'm like, what size are you? I wear like a six. Oh, my so God. I was, like, I was like, well, shit, it should be good if I just tie my shoes really tight. The and fact then, that you, yeah, we're Yeah, down. like down bad, like first hurdle damn near out of there, like for real. And then I was a sore loser at that shit. So uh. I was just like, I was like, fuck it, I'm getting off the track. I don't even want to keep running. I'm embarrassing myself at that point. Like, right. I'm about to run with these fucking clown shoes on. Like, yeah. Was that like a metaphor though? When during hard times you think of that moment. Slim ass scared. Yo. <laughs> I'm like, what is your deal? Do you see this badass dog? I'm sorry, you got dogs, right? Yeah, his name Rambo. Oh, uh, where he at? He in Dallas right now. <laughs> let's Slim. play. Let's play. Who can pass? Who can catch Slim, y'all? <laughs> Yeah, I have a, a crazy sad story too that I'm gonna tell about oh, my damn. dog. So I had a Maltese, <laughs> I had a Maltese, and I had a Bull Mastiff, and I had a Yorkie. Oh, and I love Yorkies. Bro, lit- yeah, the Can- Cane Corso. Yeah. Hell yeah, I love Cane Corsos. So, so basically, what happened was, um, if you want to be in athletics, you have to do two sports. But I kind of only wanted to run track. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't want to do cross country because we used to just like literally. Cross country's hell. Yeah, and then it, at the cross country meets, we would like sit kind of in the grass and then wait for people to like pass by and then start running or whatever. And so then I was like, fuck, let me just try to do volleyball. Bro, the day I don't make the volleyball team, I kid you not, I go home. My mom tries to feed my Maltese and my Cane Corso chicken. Oh my God. And my fucking, like, this, he grabbed him and drug him through like the grass and killed him. It was wait, the worst day of my life. Wait, who? My my bull mastiff. And I had a Maltese. He killed him. It was so sad. And I didn't make the fucking volleyball team at all. So it's like, that's just a lot going on. And I'm, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. It's like, you're just going home. You're like, damn, didn't make. I was crying because he died on me. It was really sad. It was really sad. But the thing is. I made myself numb to that event, but I remember whenever I was in acting class, the um, the lady, the coach, she made me think about that event, and she was like, oh my God. yeah, she made me want, like, you have to make yourself cry, and she was like, so what did you see? How did it feel? What what color was the grass? What color was, what color, did, it was so much descriptive shit where everybody in the class was crying and shit. Oh my. And I was like, I was like, I was over here like, cause she made you hold your hands up, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just like tears just falling in my eyes, fucking spotlight on me and shit. I'm like, bro, this is crazy. And I know you like emotions. No, nah, I didn't like that emotion. Oh, okay. <laughs> she was asking too much descriptive shit. That's like somebody's fucking friend dying, and he's and she's like, how did? Yeah. Shirley Sample has to focus on mental health. Mm-hmm. How did you get through that? Like, man, um, I don't know. I feel like I've been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? I feel as if like, what everybody has to realize is a lot of this shit's temporary. You know, a lot of emotions to, are temporary. Yeah. When we're sad and we're we're happy, we're angry. I mean, it's temporary. You know, you're not gonna stand that that vibe. And if you are in that vibe, then you need to be around people that can get you out of that, right? right? And it's kind of just like, you know, it's hard to even say that sometimes because it's like depression's real, you For know. Sure. And um, I feel like it's just about knowing that. I have this one saying that I always say is, it's always a rainbow after every storm, no matter how much it rains. Wow. You know, so. Yeah. It, so it's kind of just like always knowing that better days are coming. I just pictured a rainbow and it made me happy. Hell yeah. <laughs> For real. Depression, I got a question. Why so much aggression? I need right. protection. Hey. Now that you don't smoke weed, like, what do you do to help your mental health? Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like kind of just like, I would say creating music. I feel as if I create more songs now. Like I'm going in the studio cutting about four records. Because we would just sit in there, cut about one, smoke, and be like, that shit hard, bro. And just be chilling and not really get to another song. Right. But now I have more, like, you know, creativity in my mind and just, like, as far as energy to to do that. So I feel like maybe it's just creating music. But also it's kind of just, like, 
I don't know. I'm going through this phase right now. Like, my house is all boxed up and empty. Oh, okay. So it's just like, you come back to the house and you're like, damn, I just sleep here. I don't really, it's not a home no more. Right. So I feel like trying to figure out what I want to do is weird too. But I watched the Woodstock documentary last night. I felt like Who that was. Who just said that? You watched it too? It was crazy. She asked Amber Rose about that because Amber loves do- documentaries. It was crazy. It, it, was, it was fire too. Wait, do I got to watch it tonight? You do, you do. The third day was out of there though. It so that Sunday. The the yeah, leaving, leaving on Saturday. Well, not leaving before Sunday events happen for sure. Yeah. Wait, why? Corn came out and I would have been like, all right. Yeah, yeah when Corn, no, when Limp Biscuit came out, that's when shit got crazy. Limp, Limp. Yeah, Fred, he was going nuts. <laughs> he was like, he was like, if if you got a job, if you got a boss, if you got family issues, this is that. Let all that negativity out right now. It. And every no, fuck no. He was like, oh. he was he was like, let all that negativity out and break shit. And every, bro, oh, he's telling two hundred fifty thousand people to break shit. So it's like they started just yeah, like they're going. His stage presence is crazy though. That's what I'm saying. His stage presence was insane. I was just gonna read your statistic. Musicians are three times more likely to experience anxiety or depression. Than of course. the general public. Of course, because you don't know who's really um, for you. Right. You know, you're around so many different energies. You're around so many different team members. And everybody has an opinion. Right. And not everybody's opinion can be trusted. So it's just like you're always pulled in so many different directions. And you don't know who's really your friend mm-hmm. or who really is, like, you know, like, has your best interests. Like, I've been in so many different situations where I had to fire management. Right. I probably had about, what, fucking 10 managers. You were with Rock for a second, right? Yeah. Rock was, I would say Rock was a great situation though. I just okay. felt as if like, in my mind, it was kind of just like transition. I yeah. feel like I never want to be in the same place as I was last year. Respect. I'm always like that. And I feel like a lot of people don't fuck with that because they're just like, oh, you can switch up. It's not about me switching up. It's about me wanting to be great. And it's about me wanting to grow up. Amen. Like who wants to be the same person that they were yesterday? Facts. That makes zero sense. This is why I love your energy. Yeah. Well, like, I was gonna ask, how do you know who to trust? Like, you know, like. You know what's so crazy? I used to always like, Think about who can I trust, right? Yeah. That's so much fucking energy. Yeah. It's so much energy. I'm just like, damn, he 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 was acting weird the other day. I don't know if I can trust bro. Or <laughs> she she did this. I don't know if I can trust her. That's a lot of energy. I'm just like, you know what? Like you gonna cut yourself off. I don't even gotta cut you off. You gonna do something where like cause that's happened, my prior managers, they cut themselves off right. recently. A lot of people cut themselves I off out of my you. life. And it's like, it's always what's done in the dark comes to the light. No matter what day and what time it is, it's going to happen. Right. I feel like don't stress yourself out trying to figure out and find a problem. Right. I was off shrooms the other day. And <laughs> yes, <we love> it. <laughs> I was off shrooms the other day and my homie had told me, you know, whenever somebody wants to tell you something mm-hmm. and um, they're like, oh, never mind. And you're like, what, 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 you, what do you mean? What, yeah, well, me. You want to know it so bad. He mm-hmm. said, why the fuck do you want to know it so bad? Mm-hmm. He was like, you didn't even think about that five minutes prior to when they said that. So it's like you're taking so much energy out of your mind and out of your time to figure out what's about to be said. And who right. knows if it was negative or positive. But obviously, you're about to get into this mood now or you're about to go into this little conversation that you probably didn't even care about. That's real. Yeah, so it was just like, sometimes we got to just not care. We got to just stay in our own energy. Yeah. You know? I was going to ask, too, because, you know, Amber Rose is a uh, Buddhist. Mm-hmm. Do you believe in... So I'm, I'm, I'm into spirituality. I'm not into um, religion, though. Okay. I would say... Hmm, nah. Um, no, I wasn't ra- raised in religion. My mom went to Catholic school, but my whole thing is treat people how you want to be treated. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? Hell like, yeah. I respect that. Yeah. You know, I feel as if, like, I don't like dark-ass energy. Mm-hmm. I'm only about light energy. Right. But it's more so, like, I don't judge nobody based on where you come from, what you do in your life. As long as you treat people how you want to be treated and, you know, living your true self, hey, I love you and I respect you. So it's just, like, I don't, I'm, I feel like religion, we can talk about Christians and how they, you know what I'm saying? But nobody's better than anybody and they're the everybody's so judgmental you know i'm saying i'm just like be a good person yeah like just be a good person like i feel like that's not hard to do and if you're not a good person right now that doesn't mean that you'll never be a good person you just need to grow up and figure something out work in progress well this is a gift from have you heard of crave Uh -uh. so they do uh disposables um I don't know if you have anyone that likes nicotine vapes, but... Oh, uh, yeah, I got to... Uh, my these, engineer hit these hoes. They're going to love this shit. Say so less. they're disposable. Um, yeah, they're fire. Okay, but I cool. was going to ask you a trivia question. All right, bet. Oh, wait, this is... Oh, wait, this is a hard one. I would say one thing, like, we should all shotgun 
uh, a seltzer. I had seltzers in that bag. Wait, the, fuck the green was. monkey? Yeah, we should hot, we should shotgun them. Like, Yo, put a key in them and just and just go crazy. Can y'all grab? Can y'all gather that? Uh, no, you won't. <laughs> Wait, can you probably sure will. No, nah. that laugh <laughs> let me know at everything. He's like, okay. I've done this shit before. I've been here. Monkeys? He's like, I don't know I'm who the first. fuck you're talking to, but I do this. I do this. Yo. Damn, what kind of caps are these? So these are uh, from Green Monkey. Let's do it out. Y'all want to do it outside? Cause it's gonna spill over the floor. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. What is the name of Drake's first mixtape? Uh, room for improvement. <laughs> oh, it's for sure room for improvement. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> no, I, I, I fuck with that's what um I forgot what song is on there. I get lonely too and all that. Mm, all yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Facts. Savage. All right, well, we got more gifts. Okay, okay, okay. This is okay. from Al Capone. Um, they right, make premium leaf wraps. Oh shit, this is a lot of fucking gifts. Oh fuck. You said you which one dabs your brother? This My is brother perfect. does dabs. Yeah. This is the Ice Fire. This is their North Lights. Uh, it's this beautiful dab piece right here. Okay. And then we got you some eye poppy concentrates for after. Um, but I was gonna ask. I'm gonna send uh, him a picture of this shit. Yeah, absolutely. Please do. Oh, oh yeah, we got you some Shirley Temple. Oh with shit! Gin Thank in you. It. I appreciate that. Um, I drink now. Hey, you know cheers. I mean? <laughs> I'm like, cheers. Let's not go straight. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I love it. Um, how was it celebrating two years of uh, Teenage Fever? Man, I didn't really celebrate it, to be honest with you. But the I, Instagram co post counts. It's, yeah, so it's, it counts as that, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel as if, like, one thing, I've never celebrated any drop. What? I haven't been around people that celebrated with me. It's more so, like, when I got my plaques and everything, they're just like, all right, bet, cool, let's, let's get some more. I never been I around people. I respect that, okay. But it's like, it's like sometimes I respected it because it makes you go hard, but also it kind of just puts you in that mode where you don't really take anything, you don't really appreciate anything. They don't, you don't, uh, they don't allow you to be in the moment, you know? Facts. So, mm -hmm. I'm like, shit, if you get a plaque, we go on a dinner, sis, like what? Hell yeah, and no, I would just get a plaque and motherfuckers be like, oh, that shit fire, let's get another one. Damn. Hell yeah, so. How many plaques do you have now? I have two. Okay. They sitting nice in your crib, or they? It's yeah, up but I'm it. trying to I'm trying to get my other plaques from RA because I was a part of Money Bag shit. No, I was the intro Memphis to Memphis Memphis Gangsta. Yo, Memphis I was like, gangsta. I knew I was gonna put All you. All my it. niggas gangsta. We performed it in Columbus, Ohio. At Can I just Fest. tell you that I first of all love Money Bag. He's hard. That, but the fact that that album came out and seeing your name on it, babe, I was so proud. I nah, was like, you. yes, bitch, get it. Not nah, thank you. Like that's fire. People need to recognize, like, yo, you're. And, like, you could attest to this. It's hard to stand out in the music industry. And I would say that, but also it's about timing. That's true. That's true. Because it's like, I've only put out two projects. Yeah, that's true. So too. I can't expect everybody in the world to know about me yet because it's like, yeah. I still got to build on my catalog. Right. And I feel like it used to, it used to bother me at first, but, th but that's because I soaked up the industry's value. You know, when it was like, when you drop a song, you're like, damn, it ain't go number one. Now you think that you're not successful or now you mm. think that nobody fucks with you. In mm. reality, it's not that. Right. It's just more so like anything that you put out is a success. Anything you make is a success. Absolutely. You can't soak up other people's values and morals. Facts. It's more so like letting it know, let it, let it be known that it's patience. And, you know, this shit's a marathon. Like when, you want, when you're going to be the biggest artist in the world, that shit don't come too easy. Right. So... Wait, but real quick, how how did the money back situation happen? I think it was it was with Sky Diddy. His engineer okay. had reached out to me. Him and Bearline, they reached out mm. to me and they was just like, "Yo, like, we want you to be a part of Money Bag Yo uh, project or whatever. Where you at?" And I was just like, "Shit, I'm in LA." And they're like, "Pull up." And then when I pulled up, this mind you, the song never sounded like that, and I didn't even know it was gonna be the intro. It Yo. was like it was like a whole different beat and everything. And then I kind of just put the "Oh my niggas gangsta," yeah. and then it just was like, "All right, cool." And then when they sent it to me, they was like, "Oh shit, like." You the intro, and I was yes. like, damn, hell yeah! So I was like, that shit fire. Same that happened with Don and Travis. It was like, dude, honestly, I was literally that was my question. Like Alicia mo Keys, everybody. Moments like Euphoria, where Don hears the single and he wants it for his own shit and puts Travis on it, like that was such a big decision in my life too, because it was kind of just like that was supposed to be from, from my project, but I was just like, it's all good. I'll make more songs. Talk and about I was, timing, like yeah. the fact that you were able to let that go. Hell yeah. And I mean, it it, it was a Texas connect. I feel oh, like, right. yeah, it made sense. You know, I'm yeah. from Dallas, they're from Houston. It was kind of just like, all right, cool. Yeah. And I felt as if like that put me onto the Cactus Jack fans. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask, even with the money bag, like, did you gain his fan base? Like, did you see your number? Honestly, 
I don't even fucking know. I feel like you everybody know, was just like, kind of just like, this song should have been longer. This is shit uh, for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? People were kind of just mad that it wasn't longer, but they were like, this shit's hard. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like it, I was getting really great feedback from it, though. Right. Hell yeah. How was working with Alicia Keys? It was so crazy because they, like, I'm really goofy and I feel like I just crack jokes. <laughs> and uh, when I walked in, she was playing the piano. I was like, damn, I'm walking to a wedding. And she started <laughs> laughing. And I was like, man, like, this shit crazy. Like, I'm thinking, you know, it's just going to be on some, like, chill shit. But it's like, no, she really plays the keys 24-7. So I it love just, it. Yeah, and it was just, like, a dope-ass vibe. Um, we just kind of already had my verse cut because I was like, shit, I'm going to pull up with my shit ready. ready. Yeah, yeah I'm, ready. I'm like, I'm like, fuck that. I ain't going to pull up and cut shit. You <laughs> go, I'm like, I'm, I'm pressing play. Yeah. Because I'm like, you know, Swiss, you know, like he showed me hella love. And mm. I was kind of just like, I was so in my mind about what they would think sounded good that I was just like, let me already go ahead and cut it. For so, sure. yeah. So whenever I get there, they can tell me what they like and don't like. And then Alicia was like, no, this is crazy. And then we, it's crazy. We have videos I never posted, but we just turned this hell. I love it. So fucking turned the studio when we heard that shit. Were you nervous going in? Mm-mm. Okay. I can't, I, I don't know. I've, I've met a lot of people. I've been in the room with Marilyn Manson. I've been in mm. multiple rooms with Beyonce. I've been like, I don't know. You it's don't, been a lot. Yeah. I don't really, I don't know. I feel like creating though, you know, sometimes you're like, damn, working with a legend. For sure, working with a legend. <laughs> Shirley's yeah. like, how do I say this right now? Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? I guess. <laughs> I be wanting to ask you other questions. My, I just have ADD, so hella questions. No, I, I feel head. that I'm random as fuck too. Yeah. I'll be like, did you see Leprechaun in the Hood? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Like it be some random shit. So I get it. Mm -hmm. I'm dead. Um, but do you have? Yeah, anyone in the music industry that influenced you? Um, I would say. A lot of people, Nirvana, Flatbush Zombies, SZA, I love that. like uh, old SoundCloud SZA for show. Um, Erica Badu is one of them. Drake, The Weeknd, um, who else? I'm really a gorilla, a huge Gorillaz fan. I feel that's I tight. love Gorillaz. You heard Lincoln Park. You heard me listen to Lincoln Park. She was Park listening to Lincoln Park on her phone in the green room. <laughs> I fuck with it. Yeah, no, I just I don't know. I love alternative rock, yeah. and I feel as if like. One thing, it's, it's super vulnerable, and I feel as if when you mix R&B, hip-hop with alternative rock and so many different genres, I feel like that shit just, like, I don't know. It feels like, I don't know, it just feels, like, euphoric. It feels like you're expressing something that nobody's heard before, too. Trippy Red made a project, Neon Shark versus Pegasus. Neon Shark was, like, the rock side. Pegasus was his regular sound. Are we gonna, are we gonna hear rock records on uh, your album on my new the project? fall off nah so the fall off is strictly simp music and oh, okay. in turnt music me and blast got a song that's oh pretty my gosh turnt. sorry yeah. no you good you good it's pretty turn it's like people are gonna be surprised that he got on that type of beat i love that that is literally my favorite song yeah it's like picture it's blast in his cardi bag and then, i love it yeah and then, like the next song i got dropping is me and black called miss my dogs Wait, so the Love Songs remix was so fire, y'all had to run it back or what? Yeah, yeah. And I just I just personally love Black. I feel like he's somebody mm -hmm. in the industry that's literally real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's super real. Whenever he's around you, he won't have his phone near him. He'll put his, he'll leave I his phone, that. like, far away and just be in a conversation with you, you right. know? So I really respect him a lot. And that was him hitting you to get on the remix, right? Yeah, he kind of just added me on Twitter and was like, where are you at? What are we doing? And, then, and I was like, I was like, oh, shit. Like, what's up? And then this fucking popped off. and Everybody's like, oh, this is crazy. Yeah. And I was like, shit. Because I remember I was literally, I was leaving Genius yeah. whenever he did that. So, That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I was like, it was a big moment for me in that era. Man. But I feel as if when I was 18 and Love Songs dropped, I didn't, I, I didn't uh, fully get to appreciate it because I was taking shit so personal. Cause it was like I remember telling my label, telling everybody, "This is gonna be a big song. It's gonna be a big song." Everybody was like, "Oh, cool! Like we don't really want to drop it. We don't want to put no Damn. money in it." And I and was just like, "I was like, y'all gonna regret that shit." And then it popped off. Right. And everybody's like, "Oh, I, I've always known this yeah. is gonna be the biggest record ever." Right. And I'm 18. I just got out of high school. So in my mind, I'm like, "You fake as fuck." Oh. You know, wow. I'm not. I'm, I haven't been in the industry, so I'm not understanding that this is how the industry works. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to play the cards that you're dealt with. Right. And I feel in my mind, I was just like so personal with everything yeah like, i didn't allow myself to really fully i didn't want to do nothing for the record because i've known that people didn't believe in it so it's like oh like they want you to come on show and do this this yeah. this that i was like no no 
bitch first no. of all how was it signing a major label deal at 18 like what is going through your head and did you have proven a point because i remember at yeah, thanksgiving yeah. when i told my like i didn't take my sat my uh sat my act or nothing Damn. i remember like telling my family like i'm gonna be in the music industry i'm gonna be huge and they were like hmm, i think you should just stick to track like i don't think you should not my like my immediate family but like my cousins like, i think you should just stick to track i don't I don't see that happening. You'll be better off being like a doctor or something in college. Damn. And I was just like, all right, cool. And I was like, mom, we should leave. And then we left. And then, I mean, shit, they hit me up all the time now. And it's right. like, I forgive them. Yeah. But because that put that battery in my back to prove a point mm, to them. I you know what I'm it. saying? So yeah. it was kind of just like, now they hit me up. Like, I just had a cousin hit me up and say that, hit my mom up and say that I changed because I'm not posting his music. But I'm like, that's crazy. People be wilding. But, but not even that. If I love your music, I would genuinely post it. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's talking about shooting people. Nigga, we from the suburbs. You not yeah. shooting nobody. <laughs> so why the fuck am I finna post that yeah. on my side? You know what I'm saying? Like, why am I gonna post that on my, I don't even wanna promote that. Yeah, I So it's just like, and I know you're not really doing that. Mm. So it's just like, he was just like, oh yeah, like y'all didn't got money and fame and then y'all changed up on the family, this, yeah. this, that. And then it's like, you texting my mama like that. You're like, you crazy. That's you know? wild. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, people are weird. I feel bad that you have to deal with people saying you change over stupid shit like that, though. All my friends, oh, you changed. No, right. motherfucker, you changed. Like, I've had so many friends use me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know, it's just it's weird, bro. I hear it's you. so weird. And it's like, I love to put niggas on. Like, that's my whole thing. I brought a lot of people from Dallas with me whenever I first moved out. Like, whenever I met you, mm -hmm. I had a lot of people from Dallas with me. Respect. And they couldn't handle L.A., you Damn. know what I'm saying? And it's just like, they, they left. Yeah. I remember going back to my crib. And they wasn't there. Like, wow. dead ass. Like, just going back and they wasn't there. And I'm texting them, like, yo, where y'all at? And they were just like, man, it's just been too much for me. But you couldn't sit down and have a conversation with your friend and let me know. You know and you that, brought them out there. Yeah, like, they weren't paying rent or nothing. That's why. Y'all ungrateful. Yeah, it was like, mm. That's crazy. It's all good. I mean, they want to they wanna tap back in now. Yeah. I had uh, DJ Duffy on my show. Mm -hmm. She was, like, trying to manage artists, and they were living at her crib. Mm -hmm. One of them stole, like, her diamond necklace or some shit. Oh, that's crazy. Someone, she was trying to help them. That's lame. I'm like. That's yeah. super She's lame. like, I imagine. And I don't, I don't like thieves. You know what I'm saying? I'm Me like, neither. Yeah. Like, you know, when you're a kid, you don't look at the You're stealing shit. But <laughs> I feel like now, like, we grown, bro. Like, Fact. come on. Yeah. Like, you're doing too much, bro. I hear you. Okay, yeah, wait, like, last gift. All right, so this is the Trident. Uh, This is the Hitoki Laser Bomb. Oh, it's right there? Yeah. So, the, yeah, I feel like I'm going to show you later. But it's a laser bomb. It's cool because the laser just hits the weed, and it's just that. There's no, like, butane. So it's like, imagine if a magnifying glass was. Oh, and that's how it burns it? Yeah. Oh, damn, fire. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah someone will appreciate that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna give this shit to my brother. My brother's a huge pothead. I love it. Is he older, younger? He's older than me. Okay. Yeah, he's like 27. Okay. Mm hmm. Aw, is he so proud of little sis? Hell yeah. He's, he's super proud. We about to start streaming and shit. Like, he cold as hell at, like, okay. Call of Duty. Oh, shit. So, I wanna, whenever I go back out there, I wanna start, like, an esports team. Like, yeah. some crazy shit. Ooh, you know, Wiz yeah. be doing the esports. Man. <sighs> oh, yeah, you're not smoking, so you can't. <laughs> She's like, damn, I missed it. Man. Wait, real quick. Can you explain your tat with the three dogs? Oh, man. It's peeling right now. I will show y'all. Oh, but okay. She, she thug lifed it, y'all. <laughs> she got the tattoo on her I know. Stomach. I got it, like, right here. Like, like, I'm like, ow. Um, I had lidocaine on, though. Oh, so oh the numbing? Like, yeah. Bitch, I don't so. get tattoos without it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So was like, I didn't really feel it until, like, at the end. Yeah. But I wouldn't say, shit, I got that dog in me. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then it means past, present, and future. I mean people say it's cerebus too, but yeah. I mean they're not all they're all their heads aren't attached together. It's kinda just three dogs, three Damn. Dobermans. Did it hurt? It didn't hurt till like the end. Okay. Like that's when it was like t like on a ten. Yo, can I tell you that moment when the numbing cream rubs rubs off and you're fucking like Yeah, you're I like, This is crazy. Yeah. This is this the tattoo that hurt for me. Like, oh most, my right? gosh, what is that? It's a globe, it's a red globe oh, with fire. the outline. Then I, I was got, gonna say that hurt more than your Adam or your. And I got Flubber Zombie set right here on my leg. Stop! Wait, oh. have they seen that? Hell yeah! I mean, they be they're they're cool as fuck, and we tapped in. I just don't want to be friends with them because <laughs> it's like I got you tatted on my leg. Let me just be a fan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they cool as fuck though. I love that. Yeah, like I, I, I fuck that. with them. I just want to be a fan. I just want to listen to y'all music. I don't want to. 
Oh. You don't want to work with them? No, I was, I was like, that's cool. Like, we've all tapped in wanting to work together. I feel yeah. like it's more so of our schedules. Absolutely. But I just don't want to get too close. Yeah, because their shows, they be flying. They be going crazy. Yeah. I was going to ask you, because I know, like, I seen you say that you know you made it. That moment when you're performing in front of that festival, whatever, the crowd. Have you felt that yet? If we're rolling that and all that? Oh, man, I felt like I felt like Justin Bieber when I went to Wireless Festival in Ooh, London. Oh, yeah. That was the craziest moment for me because they were singing my songs and I was like, yo, this is fucking wild. Like, and I've never word been to London. Word. Yeah, and it was just like, it, it got to the point where I couldn't co- go see other artists because they were screaming so much. Like, you know, whenever you're in the pit and you're looking yeah. at other, like, the security was like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's too, because I would see I the artists that. looking down and being like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, like, you ruining right. the show and shit. Like, motherfucker singing. I hear <laughs> like, just screaming everywhere. I'm just like, right. shit. Like, you know, I just want to watch the show. But I was like, damn. Like, that was a moment I'm like, random. I really felt like I was Michael Jackson. Like, on some crazy shit. I London showed the most love that I've ever had in my fucking life. Dang, that's crazy. Craziest go fans. Back. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What song did they sing the most loud? They were singing Girlfriend and okay. they were singing Love Songs. Okay. And then they were singing London. Like, Wait. Because London was the first song I came out to. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So it was like pretty crazy. I was, I was really excited about yeah, that. Yeah, okay. So we got to talk about real quick 24 Hours mm-hmm. with Lil TJ. Yeah. Uh, yo, have you talked to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good? He's good. He's okay. good. Hell yeah, I just tapped in. He's good. All right, fire. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was, like, I don't know if he's going to do shows. Yeah. But, like, I, I feel like I see him do, like, doing uh, Toronto. Right. Because he's on Rolling Loud Toronto. I feel like that would be something major, you know what I'm saying? For I heard he's sure. back in the studio. So, right. I don't know. I see that happening for sure. How did it feel to put that record out with him? And, like, it was fire because. This was looking slayed in the video. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I would say it was fire because he was the first artist to bring me on tour. We had one on tour last year. Yeah. And it was like pretty dope. So yeah. I went to a show at the Novo. Mm-hmm. Um, how did it feel to open for such a superstar? Cause I mm. listened to Lil TJ. Like I would say, um, I would say it was just you know like dope because his fans really love music. Yeah. And I feel like they were just really supportive of every artist that he was bringing out. You right. know what I'm saying? This artist named Sandra, other up and coming artists from different cities. Like it was just like he always had a great crowd. Yeah. Like they didn't really care if they didn't know you or not. Right. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Man, uh, is there anything else you want to plug before we end with the Temple 10? Um, I would just say, man, stay tuned for the fall off album. Stay tuned for Miss My Dogs with Black. Stay tuned for the fall off record and tour top of the year. What is one thing you want people to take away from the fall off? Um, that nobody really falls off. Oh, yeah. Th- I remember that's your whole thing. You were saying Yeah, that. nobody really falls off. We just come back harder than ever. Facts. Yeah. I love it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Temple 10, uh, Spitfire Round, favorite emoji? Hmm. Damn, what emoji? I, maybe a laughing emoji. I use that shit too much. I love that. <laughs> favorite snack? Takis. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got some for you. Hell, yeah, I was eating them in the room. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest fear? Spiders. My, oh, my granddad died by getting bit by a spider. He got bit by a brown recluse. Yo, you just gonna hit us with this crazy life event? God damn. Uh-huh. Yeah, for real. Like, and then he was so country, he just like, I'll be good, just pour some beer on it. Oh my God. Like, he thinking like that's a fucking home remedy. Like, nah, like you fucking it up worse. Yo, that's crazy. I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. He's, he's always forever around me and yeah. watching over me, so it's all good. Uh, biggest turn off? Mm. Hygiene. Mm. If you have bad hygiene. Facts. Favorite taco spot? City View Tacos in Dallas. Oh, and with Duncanville, Texas. My original question was favorite taco spot in LA. I've never had good tacos in LA. Wait, what? Aren't we good? Aren't we known for that? Excuse you. I ain't you, never had no good tacos in LA. <laughs> Andrea, where's she gotta go? I'm already, I'm already knowing. I'm already yeah. knowing. Go. Y'all gotta put me on in some spots because I've only, I've had nasty ass tacos out here. Vinny said Leo's. I've had Leo's. Did you want the Leo's taco truck? But, oh, do you eat pork? Nah. Oh, well, I wouldn't say I don't <laughs> eat pork. There's more so like I eat pepperoni pizza, so I do eat pork, but I don't eat pork. <laughs> it's like an oxymoron. You know what I'm saying? Nah, carne asada. Because that's the key. Nah, that don't sound like the key to, for me. I don't want that. I don't want that door. If that's the key, I don't want that door at all. <laughs> do you be chefing it up? 
Hell yeah. Okay. I make salmon. I make steak. I make any. I can low key any make so anything. Date night, you cooking? Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> date night, we going to dinner and then we going back to the crib. All right. All I right. would cook. I would cook for a shorty though. It just depends like on the vibe. Like not every girl can get that. Like. Right. I hear you. Yeah. Speaking of ideal date night. Ideal date night. Helicopter go and then we go to like. Bitch, take me on a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> like a helicopter ride, right. and then like for sure like landing on top of like the helipad and just eating dinner there, and kind of just like I don't know, just vibing. I want to skydive. My first time meeting a shorty, I took her on a date to Disneyland. Aww. It ended wrong. It ended horrible though. Why? She saw me texting this other girl, oh and like my. she was like, it just fucks her whole vibe up. But I'm just like, bro, like I wasn't texting her, like texting her, if that makes sense. <laughs> Did she go through your phone after that? Fuck no. Okay, I'm like, that's first date on Disney. No, nah, she was just kind of just staring at my phone, and she seen a girl's phone number. Well, like, she seen like a girl's name, and she was just tweaking. I'm like, bitch, you ain't even read the messages for real. Like you yeah. just seen a girl name. Dang, and the whole day was good. She started tripping. Yeah, she started tripping at the end, and then she wasn't trying to communicate with me, like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, she was just, like, tripping, and then whenever we was about to go out to eat, I was like, I'm just taking your ass home. Yeah. And so I took her home, and then she was really bugging, and then, like, she was just blowing on my fucking phone. Damn. Yeah. She steadily be hitting me up now, but. Yeah. I was going to say, does Cash Page like PDA? I love PDA. With the right person. Facts. But not... Not in front of kids. I don't kiss yeah. in front of kids. Yeah. But if I'm like, like just vibing and shit, yeah, I don't yeah. care. But I'm not going to make out with somebody just in like fucking public. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Favorite sex position? Whoa, this is crazy. Well, right I've had- <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, this is crazy. I've um, asked everyone this. Amber Rose, Black China, Mozzie. Missionary. Too short. Okay. Ricky Williams said creative missionary. What is creative? That's what is that? That's what I'm saying. He was creating his own shit, for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> he created his own lingo. <laughs> um, how much you spending on a female? Uh, I don't. I, I feel like it doesn't. It doesn't mind me to spend money on a female. It just depends on the girl. Do you have Every, the most you spent on a female? Probably three bands. I haven't spent like. A what lot. was that on? A flight, maybe? No. Nah, I've never flown a girl. Up, flown oh, okay. a girl. Up. Cause it's just like you gotta fly yourself. You need to prove yourself to me right now. Like, nah, I'm not just flying you out. I respect that. Yeah, like fly yourself out. I'll buy the ticket back. You know what I'm saying? But also, I've been seeing weirdo, like weirdo shit where everybody's like, oh, if this shorty flies out, like she gotta fuck. Like she don't gotta fuck you. I saw that video. She don't gotta fuck you. The shorty's flying out for a great he time. He dropped like how much on her though? But yeah, I feel you. I, I feel you. I feel I, you. I wasn't I, defending him at all. No, I get that. I get yeah. that. I get that. I'm just saying like. I don't know. I just feel like a shorty, it's, it's our body. Right. At the end of the day, it's like, I don't feel like just because you flew me out or you paid for dinner, you did this, I have to fuck you. That's right. crazy. That is crazy. It's crazy. If you want to fuck me, then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. Then cool. But, like, you don't have to fuck. Like, right. I don't know. Respect. Respect. Uh, best encounter you had with a fan? Mm. When I, I I was on tour and uh, she asked me to sign her boobs, but I asked age before anything. Some people yeah. don't be asking age. I was like, how old are you? She was, like, 23. <laughs> And I had signed her titties. It was pretty dope. How old were and you? I was 20. Oh, okay. And then I remember being at this one event, and it was the wildest encounter event that I had because my security guard was just like, damn. He looked at me like, yo, these girls be wild. <laughs> like, we were at the bar, and she was just like, you cash page? And I was like, yeah. She was like, I want to eat your pussy so bad. Oh I was like, yo, what gosh. the fuck? I was like, yo, this is wild. And I was like, I want whatever drink you had because yeah. your ass is out of there. Like, what the fuck? Like, Do you she... be looking like? Nah. Okay. I'm too picky. I'm way too picky. I'm way too picky to be even on that. Like, I don't know. This is just like, if you saying that to me, I wonder who else you saying that shit to. Like, that's random. You don't even fucking know me. But I'm sure me. their fantasy is Cash Page, though. I don't give a fuck what their fantasy is. <laughs> your ass wild. <laughs> Yo, that's wild for even saying that to somebody. You don't even know me. I can have monkey pox. Oh my god, yo, I cannot. Every time I picture that, I freak out because that's fucking nasty, yo. It is. No discrimination. I just seen a, a dude go to fucking McDonald's and he had monkey pox. Y'all seen that shit? Kendall had McDonald's today. Damn. <laughs> Her face Not got that. me dead. She's like, <laughs> she's like exposed. Yeah. No, nah, it was it was, <laughs> it was literally. Oh my fucking god! It's a twenty one. Yes. Okay, I gotta go. She gotta go. Last question. First thing that comes to mind: cash page. 
Um, fuck, I don't even know. Oh, she got to respond her some text. It's okay, give Yo. her some time. I was going to say the greatest because you're about to be the greatest artist in the world. No, nah, thank you. Yeah. First thing that comes to mind is respect. 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 Thank you, love you. Thank you, Cash Page. Thank I you, thank you, that. thank you. Oh, Slim. All right. Yo, yo, it's your girl, Cash Page. We chilling at Shirley Simple right now. We going fucking nuts. She's a goat. And I appreciate you for having I me love on the show. So and I appreciate everybody that was behind the camera and going crazy with me. Um, Y'all the shit. And until next time, swag. Yeah,